Come, baby. Enjoy this great game. What is going on, everybody? And welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball channel. This is Eric. And today, we have some breaking news with the Miami Marlins. They have hired Kim Ng as their new general manager. Not assistant. General manager. Not Regional manager, not assistant regional manager, not assistant to the regional manager. No, she is the real thing. So this is obviously a historic hire as she is the first, not just baseball, but in all sports, the first general manager, a female general manager. Obviously, she's not the first general manager, but she's the first female general manager. So huge hire here for the Marlins, but she has been in the rumors for general manager positions for quite some time, including the Giants. We heard her name multiple times when the Giants were searching for new general managers. So this could definitely be a, a good thing for the Marlins. You know that she is looking to show that she knows what she's doing, which I'm sure she will, and she does, and, and she's going to make some and big moves. And we're talking about a team that just finished in second place in 2020 despite everything against them including that they just didn't have that great of a roster at least we didn't think so coming into the season and then the roster got even worse you would think because of COVID was everyone was falling off the roster and yet they still prevailed and still even beat the Cubs in the playoffs and so they weren't they didn't just fall out in the first round so the Miami Marlins had a great year their manager Don Mattingly just won manager of the year so congratulations to him for that and they had a great year and obviously they still got some big names there in the front office as well with Derek Jeter as the chief executive officer and now Kim Ng named New Marlins GM first woman to hold position in MLB history and here's the announcement here obviously i'm sure that twitter is just blowing up right now this is uh this is going to be absolutely huge and it and it's big news for the marlins like i said so the 51 year old ang is believed to be the first female gm in any of our four major north american sports leagues ing has been involved in major league baseball since 1990 it has acted as senior vice president of baseball operations for the mlb commissioner's office she's also been assistant GM with the Dodgers. She worked with the White Sox for a while. So she's been around different teams and for Major League Baseball. She's got a ton of experience, very smart, very knowledgeable. And she's worked with the Yankees as well as assistant GM. So definitely a lot of experience. She said, this challenge is one I don't take lightly, but when I got into this business, it seemed unlikely a woman would lead a major league team, but I am dogged in the pursuit of my goals. My goal is to now bring championship baseball to Miami. I am both humbled and eager to continue building the winning culture our fans expect and deserve. And I don't know if you could say they've had a winning culture as of late. Obviously, in 2020, they seem to. But this is a team that does have two World Series. They've never actually won their division. They made the wild card in 1997 and 2003 and were able to win the World Series in both those years. But both times, they kind of tore down afterwards and then rebuilt a championship team again. It was very impressive how they were able to do that. But as of since 2003, they have not been able to get back into the World Series. This year was an amazing run. We don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Obviously, it's a different style of a game nowadays with, you know, the way that everyone kind of works together. And I mean, how you might consider that good or bad in a way. I don't love it. I like the manager to have the lineup. The manager works on the field. He does what he thinks is best. You can have an overall plan, a game plan, an idea, an ideology. But once the game is on, it should be in the manager's hands and not have these strict rules of what he has to do. And then in the front office, the GM. GM is the one that makes the calls, makes the deals, makes the trades, puts together the roster. But you know, it's now so much more involved. But it, it, it's she's she's going to be one of the head honchos over there in Miami, and she is going to be definitely looked upon when that roster is put together. She's going to be the main one who is going to say, hey, you're the GM. So definitely, she is going to have a lot of say so, and it's going to be interesting to see what moves are made from here on out, what kind of trades, what kind of free agent signings and how she does over there in Miami because this team is coming off a big season, a big 2020. And she is taking this team that proved they could do it with Sandy Alcantara, with Jimmy Garcia coming out of the bullpen and then Pablo Lopez had a great season. Sixto Sanchez coming up. These are just the pitchers. Lots of great talent, lots of veteran talent and young talent out there. See if she can make something or do something with Lewis Brinson who has not really turned out as great as the Marlins hoped. But they still got Corey Dickerson, Jesus Aguilar, and a lot of really good players. So the Marlins, you know, they're not just some nobody team right now. So this is, this is a, a killer move right here. This is not just like a team that was in the basement in 2020 and they're going to suck for a few years. And they're like, hey, let's do some kind of uh, social move that's going to get us a lot of attention. I don't think so. I think they're actually looking to improve and looking to be a winning team right here. And I think they grabbed somebody 
who is qualified. So it's going to be really interesting to see what happens with the Marlins going forward. So, guys, I want to say congratulations to Kim Ng for the hire and to the Marlins and also to Don Mattingly for getting Manager of the Year. A lot of exciting things are happening over in Miami. So it's going to be a lot of fun, and we'll see how it goes. So, guys, have a fantastic day. Put your thoughts down below. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll talk to you guys next time. See ya. Thank you so much for checking out that video. This is Eric, and if you're a fan of Hum Baby Baseball, please check out our store at humbabybaseball.com slash store. We have t-shirts, we have hoodies, we have hats, and we have much more on the way, so you can check out everything we have right there, including the Umpire Strikes Back, one of our many t-shirts, so I would really appreciate if you guys could check that out. Have a fantastic day. We're going to talk to you later. When the Giants come to town, it's bye-bye, baby. Every time the chips are down, it's bye-bye, baby. History's in the making at Oracle Park.